Hello everyone, welcome to watching the fourth lesson of Duplicate for Arduino Serials video tutorial, Controlling LED by PWM. Let's see the components to be used in this experiment. Sunfounder UNO, USB cable, breadboard, sample wells, red LED, 220 ohm resistor. Let's see the principle of this experiment. We mainly use PWM, that's pulse wet modulation in this experiment. PWM is successfully applied in model speed control, server angle control, and LED brightness control. It can output signals, for example, it can make sounds when collecting a buzzer. Pulse wet modulation is a digital coding method for analog signal levels. Since a computer cannot output an analog voltage but digital voltage value 0V or 5V, we modulate the duty circle of square waves to encode a specific level of analog signal by using a high resolution counter. PWM signals are essentially digital signals for the full amplitude DC power supply is either 5V or 0V at any given time. Voltage or current source is applied to an analog load in the form of on or off repetitive pulse sequence. When it is on, DC power supply will be applied to the node. When it is off, DC power supply will be disconnected. If only the bound wet is wet enough, any analog value can be encoded by PWM. The output voltage value is calculated by the on and off time. The output voltage equals on time divided by total time and then multiplied by the maximum voltage. Here we use the on time of the LED to change the brightness of LED. Well, that's all for the principle. Let's start to collect the circuit. At first, we place the resistor on the breadboard. Collect one end of the resistor with the cathode of the LED. Collect the anode of the LED to pin 9 of Sanfonder UNO board. Collect the other end of the resistor to ground. After building the circuit, we start to write code. We collect the anode of the LED to pin 9 of Sanfonder Euro R3. Set the LED as output. Let's read the main function. We change the brightness of the LED from darkest to brightest at a certain time interval. Then we change the brightness of the LED from brightest to darkest at a certain time interval. The delay function here is to make the LED repeat the above action after waiting for 500 milliseconds. After writing the code, we compare it. If there are low errors, 
We download the program to our board. Collect the same folder you will board to your computer. Then we download it. Look, the brightness of the LED is changing as our request. That's all for this lesson. Thanks for your watching. See you next time.